Hey there, it's Mike. I am going to run through some images I just did. We finally got some halfway decent weather uh, here in Appleton in about mid 60s. We had 80s for a couple days, but I wasn't able to get out um, a couple weeks ago. But this was just um, a few days ago, and I didn't have a lot of time, but I spent about 45 minutes. And I got some interesting stuff here, so I want to get your feedback here. The first thing I ran across was this. I, I kind of liked how this flag was kind of covering these people and then I noticed they had this little dog here so I haven't picked any keepers yet this is really just like me just importing these in the Lightroom so I'm just want to I kind of like that funny gap sweatshirt or gap thing that dog has on I like the fact that the people are covered by the flag so I just first thing I always do is just go through the keepers and I kind of like the way the dog is stretching there just something different so then I came across this construction in the city, and I kind of liked this guy with his hands on his hips here. Um, and so I was kind of lining him up for some stuff. And there's really two thoughts here I had. I could kind of go here and make it like an environmental portrait kind of thing. Or I love the fact he's got that thing in his back pocket. He's got his hands on his hip. He's leaning just the whole pose there. Maybe I'll pick that one. That's kind of neat too, but I'm not sure if I'm digging this gap in between here. It's okay. I wish there were maybe some people there or something like that. Here are these cool dresses all lined up with some flowers hanging down. I really wanted a reflection. Somebody walking by in that gap. And there's a lady right there with a purse which is kind of cool. And then there's some more there. I don't know if I like that as much. I'm thinking maybe there, so you can definitely see the person. But if I wanted to go no people, either reflection angle was bad. Maybe I'm thinking like a vertical right there I could do, but let me go through that. I saw this guy on the phone. I wanted to put the truck like covering most of them but this is neat actually the reflection off the roof but i don't think any of those are keepers that's kind of interesting with the walker and not not terribly great though so this i don't know what is on this cart but i don't know i'm just not feeling it this is okay i really like the lighting on this i like all these potted plants the reflection is really strong here and I got this guy walking through. I'm not sure. Maybe there. I don't know. This was neat. I was waiting for a red light and this guy walked up. And he started across the street. And I actually changed direction so I could get this cooler. Maybe right there's a keeper. There's okay too. I don't know if it's as good as that. I kind of like the way it's angled. And then I came back to this construction area actually. And... I kind of like, I want to play with, with a couple different versions of this maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Same thing here. I just was really drawn to the, the pile of rocks there. I like shooting through things, like layering things. Maybe they're all kind of in stride there. That could work. And then on the campus here at the small private college, I just... Maybe if that tree was better. That's okay. I don't know. And then I kind of frame stuff here. Maybe one of those. I don't know why I found this interesting. It's like this mop bucket outside of the, with this architecture. It just it, like it doesn't seem to fit. So anyway, there are my keepers. Not too bad. And now let's just go through and do a, a quick edit here. And I'll show you what I'm thinking right away i'm thinking eight by ten i kind of like the reflection the open being reflected there the question is the dog like is he's kind of far in the corner and he's small i don't know if people are gonna are gonna get there you know what i mean like i'm almost do i do something like this to kind of get the dog there a little bit i'm gonna add a little texture a little vibrance one of these things again is the color distracting it is this just not gonna work it's interesting but I don't I don't know if this was like a big dog maybe it would work 
Not sure. Okay, so the construction here, my idea when I took this was to do something like this, but like I said, this gap is there. Not sure any amount of editing is going to fix the, uh, just the inherent problems with the image. Really busy in the middle here. Unless I went like that, but I was drawn to the color here. So if I go black and white, I'm taking away the idea. This is better. Now this, something like that, I'm thinking could be kind of neat. This, this maybe has potential. Oops, a little maybe high there. Maybe dehaze a little. And you know, I kind of like that. I, just, I like the pose. I like the, in the pocket. I like the colors. Kick up the vibrance. Probably a little too much, but you see if I go to black and white, it's it's actually not bad in black and white, but the color of your eye really goes to the fluorescent yellow, the orange, and that's kind of what I was going for when I took the shot. So I kind of like that. That I th think will work. Um, aha. So here, huh, let me know your thoughts on any of these, by the way any of these images like I don't really know if I need to go you know to include this other person I kind of like just the one woman in the corner off to the side here walking and I think if I dehaze it'll it'll bring the reflections under control a little bit and you still can see her in this gap kind of walking by and I kind of like that human element so that's actually Quite nice. I like the repetition and then the per the shopper walking by. My thought here, not necessarily when I was shooting, but maybe now that I'm in post, maybe this is the actual story to go from a horizontal to a vertical. Dehaze it. Not sure if this is a distraction up here, if I should just really go like there. I want to crop out the reflection. I do kind of want this to be more about, yeah, that's actually kind of pretty because it's being framed right here on the left and on the top. I'm going to kick up the vibrance, not that much maybe, but that's actually kind of neat. And for me, not having a person in it, it's a little bit rare, but I like that. This, 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 I just don't know. The guy is almost too big. In the shot it's kind of interesting but this is this is like a big open negative space and I'm not sure and even if I dehazed brought up the shadows hmm you know this is one of these shots where when I walked by it this is really it was really pretty and beautiful and the lighting was amazing but then once you get it home and you see the reflection, you see how distracting it is, you really don't, I don't know if you get there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm digging that one. Let's get rid of that one. Aha, this. This I like. Here's where I'm going to need some help. Do I go, do I go here? And he's kind of walking across the street with all those, with all that repetition. I kind of like that as a kind of a, a quick edit and I want to keep it color because that red again I've said this before red is the color that your eye goes to almost all first in a photo and if I go 8 by 10 no I don't like that I want there to be more sort of negative space I want more of the crosswalk but I don't want his arm in the shot I don't think I want like that. You know what I mean? I think that gets a little distracting. I want to isolate that. That puts his foot really close to the edge. Maybe something like that. I kind of like that. I may, I may burn this in a little bit, maybe in Photoshop. I really need to get that red to pop. But that's actually kind of nice. I like that. And I like the fact that it's turned kind of tilting it adds it adds motion to the shot this is fairly easy for me to see if this is going to work or not this is going to be a straight 
a shot like this. Whoops. Uh, I really would like to put him, like to get the rocks more. He's kind of looking off. I kind of wish I could put him over here a little more. But then he's going to be really tight against the frame, which I'm okay with. If you've seen my stuff, I'll put people really tight against the edge of something, the edge of the frame, the photograph. And you know, that's actually, I love, again, I love, this is all really black and gray, fairly neutral in colors. Then you go right to the, the fluorescent yellow. And that's what I'm going for here. I like that. This I like is I like the fact he's taking the hat off. And again, I would love to go horizontal with that, but I don't think that is gonna work. I know what I was thinking, but I don't know the con my concept was solid, I think, but the execution. Hmm. You know, that might actually work. Add some texture. Let's make it pop a little more. Maybe bring the highlights down like that. Again, in Photoshop, I could probably do it in Lightroom, but in Photoshop, I'll bring this in and darken this up a little bit, but the foreground. But I actually, there he's got his hands on his hips. There he's taking the hat off. So it would be coming down to a decision. I like the fact he's doing something here. So I would actually get rid of this one. And keep that one because he's actually doing a little something there, not just standing there. This, oh boy, this is going to be, it's just so distracting, I think, on top. Like, my my goal was to put him there, sort of similar to the one I just did, and just have him popping out. But there's there's a lot going on right there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I will not work with that further. This, I'm thinking 8 by 10 right away, definitely. And then crop in like that. A little bit tighter. Ooh, that's probably too much dehaze. I'm a big fan of dehaze, but maybe something like maybe black and white? I don't know. Maybe not. Not a huge fan of that. This I like. It's just a matter of putting the person. I just I like the repetition. I wish the trees. I'm going to remember this spot when there's more trees. When there's more leaves on the trees, it's so early here, spring, end of April, or we're, uh, we're really a couple days away from May. But I do like this. I'm going to have to keep this in mind. See if I can get this better. It is black and white. No probably color but it's nice i do like the idea i'm going to come back to that this i did the opposite this i kind of did one is if you've seen my some of my other stuff my channel i love like using all this negative space i just want all this grass to take you up to this person and you know it's the opposite idea here here i'm putting in the lower right and i have all these you know it's kind of busy but it's kind of a prettier scene. This is about the negative space, putting her in the upper right and using, you know, using all this negative space. And, and then you look for the stuff way up here. I'm not really sure. Both have their merit. Let me know. This is kind of busy. This one is not. This is simpler, but not sure if it's more effective. If you've seen my channel, you know I love framing things, shooting through things, layering things, and maybe something there. Again, it's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Bring the highlights down a little. A lot of this tree is taking up the space. Really, look, you took the dividing line almost half. Not sure if this person is interesting enough, like they're not doing something. Maybe if there were two people there, like a couple with their arm around each other, that would be cool. But that's another one I got to keep my eye out for. Sometimes when I shoot, I get things like this. It just triggers an idea. So when I'm there again, I'll try to remember and I'll try to look for it. And then the last one here, this is, this is interesting. My idea, I'd love to really score you know, square this up like a one point composition, get everything very, 
very level and this is close i'm trying to use lightroom's auto feature here and it's, it did okay it made the horizontals off though but something like that i don't know i love the yellow of the bucket but i'm kind of wishing that there was like a janitor here or someone with a mop but the idea of i also don't like the placement of it it has potential maybe i just need to go tight or forget the stairs just do that i don't know you have to let you have to let me know so this was let's go back to the beginning this is 45 minutes that's it and i was able able to come up with some Halfway decent stuff that's workable. I don't think that's going to be an unflag that one. That one, uh, no, I don't know. I just, I, I like the dog and the pose and the flag, but it's just all this stuff up here in the corner, I don't know. You have to let me know your comments, your thoughts about some of these images. That I like. And, I'm, you know, I'm thinking these not necessarily like something I would print for an art show, maybe for my next book. These are really nice. I really like the soft pastel colors here. I think the window is doing that. But that's nice. I could definitely see that going in a, in my next book. That I like too. Um, definitely. And I have to decide between these two. And then that, eh, probably not, but I'm going to remember it. And this, interesting, but <clears throat> again, not sure in a book. Maybe. Probably not, actually. That would probably not make it. So anyway, 45 minutes got, you know, a handful of quite, you know, interesting shots here. It just goes to show you, like, you don't need hours of time. Even if you have a half an hour, 45 minutes, you have your lunch hour, and you just want to go down, you know, and, and shoot some street stuff, you never know what you're going to run into. So I uh, hope that helps you out and gives you some inspiration, some ideas in your area. Please check out my links below. Check out my website and my books for sale on Amazon um, and my other stuff. Hope you're having a good day. Hit the streets. Take some photos. We'll see you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.